Street lights light the way home and help us to feel safe. However, it comes with a cost. In Antigua and Barbuda, the government's street lighting bill was approximately USD 3.6 million a year. Assistance came from a coalition of partners, the Caribbean Development Bank, the European Union and the United Kingdom working together under the Sustainable Energy for the Eastern Caribbean Program or SEEK. The program financed replacement of the traditional street lighting with energy efficient LED lighting. It's expected to reduce energy consumption by 4,900 megawatt hours a year and save 3,200 tons in carbon emissions. You have lamps that are built to, to last, according to spec, for 50,000 hours, as opposed to a, a high-pressure sodium lamp that may last you maybe 15,000 15, hours, okay? So, in terms of the, how quickly we change out these lamps, it's, it should last us a very long time. The project is aligned with the goals of the SEEK program which aims to reduce dependence on imported fossil fuels and reduce greenhouse gas emissions by advancing sustainable energy solutions for CDB's borrowing member countries in the Eastern Caribbean. The more efficient street lighting is expected to save millions of dollars a year for the government and people of Antigua and Barbuda. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's the really exciting part, and I think that's what caught the imagination of, of, of everyone. Um, we're estimating that it's gonna, it's, there's a savings of about EC $5 million annually. The wide-ranging project also offered the opportunity to make changes for the good of one significant population, Antigua sea turtles. Street lights near beaches can disorient nesting and just hatch turtles, causing them to wander onto roadways and get crushed by passing cars. With this in mind, turtle-friendly lighting has been included as part of the retrofitting program. It's a huge impact within the, the, the sea turtle and the hatchlings. We have no hatchling cross the road from ever since. Uh, before that, I usually get calls. Sometimes they may have like these little gauze around the nest. Sometimes people take them off because they want to take them home and it wasn't helping to keep the hatchling inside so they still cross the road. But now that we have the sea turtle friendly light, we don't have to put no guards on the beach to protect the nest, or so to speak. As of October 2019, 95% of the streetlights in Antigua and Barbuda have been retrofitted, lighting the way for a brighter future of energy security. Previously, the lights that were there, when they were operable, they were dim. These new lights, I have to say, night becomes day. They're very bright. I'm very elated that they were installed. 